lining up in a 1-4 set. The two men will fake like he's going to leave full court and then pop back to the basketball. The one will come off of a screen set by the three and the five. As the one man gets to the five, he will pop directly toward the basketball. The three man who is setting the second stagger will take off full court and the four man will throw a home run pass to the three over the top. For this full court late game or late situation play, um, this is a home run that you're trying to get. The defense is obviously going to make a big decision on what's open and what's available. Uh, the way that we have it set up is going this direction. Um, we're assuming that the team that we're playing against is pressing, so they we coming out of a after a timeout or something, and they're pressing all the way up. We either need a basket, we're down, or we're tied. And so we're going to line up in a 1-4 situation like a press break. I have my four taking it out. I have my five man and my three man inside, and then my two and my one. So we'll pretend that they're playing deny everywhere. Obviously, depending upon how they play, the guy who's out of bounds, whether they put his guy at half court or whether they put him on the ball, will make a decision on how you have to do this. But this is just an opportunity for you to get a chance to go deep with it. So on the slap of the ball, the two men right here is going to act like he's taking off and he's going to flash back to the ball. The three and the five man are going to come and look like they're setting a double screen for my one to come off. Right as the one is about ready to meet the three, the three is going to take off and the four who's out of bounds is going to throw it deep to him and we're going to try and get a bucket out of it. Obviously once the ball gets thrown, everybody's going to follow. So once you get it, you can go make a play if you want to chase down and kick it to him. The timing of this is really important and whether you have five seconds, 10 seconds, three seconds is going to make a, a big difference on how you run this play. But this is just an opportunity for you coaches that if you see that they're pressing everybody at the end of the game and they have somebody on the basketball instead of somebody playing in a safety, this is an opportunity to get one of your guys to beat his guy instead of just having everybody run deep to get a play. So you guys can run it how you want to. Whatever you want to do with the ball once you get down there is up to you. So we'll run that. Take off. Yep. And that's probably about what it's going to look like. So depending upon how much time you have left, it's just an opportunity to get the ball out there and hopefully get an opportunity to score one late. Actually, let's do this. Let's go ahead and run that one more time. Let's go ahead and run that one more time. Cash out. Good hit. That's a good job. That's a good job.